Students and staff said goodbye today to Creston High School. The school will no longer exist as a result of the Grand Rapids Public Schools transformation plan that we've been telling you about. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson was at Creston for the last day and she's live tonight. Brian and Sue, it was a lot of mixed emotions here. As you guys mentioned, this is a part of the transformation plan that we first told you about nearly a year ago that plans to close 10 schools and reorganize more. Now, staff that we spoke to today said that it hasn't quite sunk in yet and probably won't until after graduation tomorrow. I'll buzz you and you can come on into the main office. It's a familiar refrain for Deborah Macy, one she will now leave in the past as she applies for a new job having to move on after nearly 20 years at Creston, first as a student, then as an employee and a parent. It's not like going to work. It's just part of home. It's, it's an extension. I don't say I'm going to work. I'm going to school. It was a day of bittersweet reflection for everyone at the nearly 90-year-old school as the final of final exams were finished for grading. Lockers were cleaned out and the once energetic hallways empty. Kind of disappointed that just out of nowhere Crescent's closing and it just changes everyone's plans. The about 600 kids have a choice to make about where to go to school next year. Some staff members even now don't know where or if they fit into GRPS moving forward. Both students and staff most told us they understand the need for the district consolidating to move forward but say that doesn't make the shutdown of the historic school any easier. Everyone's always going to remember Crescent. It's not like it's going away forever. It's still going to be in their hearts, and it's just closing right now. Now, City High and Middle School, that's a school that you actually have to test into, will be moving into the physical Creston building next year, so it doesn't mean that Creston will be empty or potentially sold, as the first version of the transformation plan called for last year. Now, the transformation plan itself overall is expected to save the district about $4.5 million each year. Live in Grand Rapids tonight, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.